The 2011 Warrior Transition Games will take place next month in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The games consist of wheelchair basketball involving the five military branches, consistent of wounded warriors who are trying to transition back into daily life. Moving Mavs head coach Doug Gardner has been selected to be the Army National Team's head coach. Although Gardner doesn't have a military background, he's still excited for the opportunity to coach this team. It's great to be the head coach. It's, a, it's my chance to work with the soldiers and help them transition back and give them an opportunity to learn wheelchair basketball and help them to prepare for their mission, which in their WTU terms, is to come back and beat the Marines. Assisting Gardner in coaching the Army National Team is Sergeant Alonzo Lunsford. Lunsford was a former college basketball coach and is a wounded warrior himself. He sees this experience as a healing one for both him and the players he's coaching. This experience has been a very humbling one for me because, um, one, I am a wounded warrior as well, and so this is a healing process for me as well as all of the players because what happened to us, the wounded or warriors, is that it was a traumatic event and we have a, a motto is that we turn tragedy into triumph and how we do that is through education and through athletics. Just because you may be missing a limb or you may suffer from PTSD or TBI or you may have loss of vision because I'm blind in my left eye, it does not mean that your life has to stop. And so what we're doing is that we are controlling it instead of letting it control us. Army National Team players, Moving Maps senior Anthony Pone and Alabama Crimson Tide freshman Perry Price are both pumped up and ready to go for these upcoming games in May. I'm excited. I'm just ready to get out there with my boys and uh, take this whole thing by storm. We all just like getting a chance to know each other, learn each other. Nobody's coming down on one another. Everybody's taking it one step at a time trying to get this team going in the right direction. It's been a great opportunity. Um, I look at it as like another stepping stone to a great transition getting back into athletics. But not only that, but just, you know, the camaraderie with my fellow, fellow you know, uh, servicemen. It's just been great. Both players reflect on how their transition was back into daily life. It took a while. It took a while. Um, I gained some extra weight, and I was wondering how to get the weight off me. Somebody uh, run the idea of sports, and at first I was a little reluctant to the idea, but then I gave it a try, and I fell in love with it. You know, the first part of it was it was it was a little tough, but uh, with my fellow soldiers and my family support and everyone just coming around and helping out, it just it was a great transition back back onto my feet, back into life, back into college, and then, you know, now playing for the, the United States um, wheelchair basketball team. Last year, the Army national team fell short of winning the championship against the Marines. Sergeant Lunsford, who coached last year, thinks it's gonna be different this time around. We were not as well prepared as Marines at that time, whereas now we are. And that being the case, we're going to come with a powerful force we're going to compete. We're going to play good, smart basketball. Students waited inside the University Center Tuesday night for the results of the student government elections. Once the results were announced, candidates and their supporters celebrated inside the halls. Newly elected Mr. UTA Zach Minter was nearly speechless about his victory. It feels amazing. I just, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I'm exhausted and it's been so emotional and I just, I've been so nervous and now it's, oh my God, it feels amazing. Although some of the candidates ran unopposed, they were still caught up in the emotions of the results. Yes, I knew I was going to win, but for it to finally be official and to know that I am going to be the Student Congress President next year, that it's an amazing feeling. And I know I was unopposed, but it was still important for me to be out there, so it feels really good to be done, and I'm really looking forward to the upcoming year.